Another day to live through. Better get started. Get off my lawn! Dang fool zombie. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, it's Paul to Punchwood here. Seven days to die. Navis Gain County, Arizona. And today is the sixth day. Sixth morning, 9.30 a.m. And that means tomorrow... Or maybe midnight tonight, I don't know. 12.01, it'll be day 7. And that is when the Feral Horde arrives and hunts me down. And as far as I know, the Feral Horde knows your exact location. And they make a beeline for you. And if it is in the middle of the night, then the Feral Horde will indeed be feral. They'll be fast and strong and angry. And we have two choices. We can either be here when they get here or pretend that we don't know what's coming. We can role play. Or we can get out of Dodge today before they arrive and set up some sort of a shelter somewhere and maybe make it through the night without having our house torn to shreds. This is our dilemma. I, I like to role play. Uh, wait, what am I looking for here? I want Fire Axe. And where be Fire Axe? There be. I'm going to make a brand spanking new Fire Axe. This is one of the items I want to have on hand when we're ready to beat to the undead and try to get through that Feral Horde night. Um, short iron pipes. Let's break these down to metal strips. There we go. Okay. So that is, uh, that's where we're at right now. And where do I have another gunpowder? No, I do not. Let's put it in here for now. So, my uh, my initial um, thought is I want to roleplay this. Jeepers. Forget all this stuff. So, this is what we're going to do. We are going to... Uh, let's put this dang thing down. What the heck? I get all this stuff. Paulina. Um, we're going to pretend that we don't know the Feral Horde is coming. But what I am going to do, uh, at least allow myself to make a bug out bag and a uh, evacuation plan so that we're actually going to come up with a, a box in fact let's make the chest right now let's make our storage chest right here be easy enough and we're going to put it over here by the door um oops, i guess i gotta pick that back up again and this is our bug out bag bug out bag meaning when the when the poo hits the fan what the Bug out bag is a real thing, by the way. If you are a survivalist or someone that is into being prepared, preparedness. Is that a, is that a horde? It's not the feral horde. Oh, gosh darn it. It's a regular horde coming. This is not good timing. There's just a stinky horde. Yep, coming right for us. Figures. This is going to cause a little bit of a... A delay because we're not gonna be able to do anything down here. Shucks. Uh. Dang it. All right, let's get down. What can we do while we're sitting here, waiting for this horde to pass? I guess we can cook. I can't open anything up because that's when they they, de they detected. Now the feral horde again is just gonna come right for us. So even even doing this is gonna wouldn't make any sense. Um, oh, oh, no, no, I don't have time for that, I can't go certain, that was really close though, wasn't it, Arr. what's a girl to do, oh no, they're here, they're here, go around, just go around, nobody home, empty old farmhouse, no. What are you banging on? Somebody's whacking something. Alright, somebody's angry. 
Ah, oh, shucks. I gotta eat. I can't even open up this chest right now. They'll hear it. Yeah, I don't want to be here when the Feral Horde comes, to be honest. But what I'm going to do, what, what I will do is I'll play it out, I'll let the Feral Horde come, be here, thinking like, oh, we're all safe and sound. The Feral Horde will come, and I'm going to book it. But we are going to make a plan today, at least have a shelter where we can fall back to. And I'm going to fill this with items that we grab and go. That's a bug out, a bug out bag. Look it up on the internet. Just look up bug out bag. <laughs> and it's essentially a backpack or some sort of pack where you fill it up with essential survival items to last a good 48 to 72 hours. In case you just have to get up and go immediately, like a, an evacuation at your house, maybe there's a hurricane or a tornado or a flood, and you get the um, you know the, the call, the National Guard shows up or somebody, and they're like, you just gotta go. I had a feeling that was gonna happen, dang it. How many are left? I don't have time to wait for these clowns. I'm going, we're going, we're going out to fight. Screw it. There can't be too many left. What do you think? There they go. Okay, there go most of them. All right, let's go take care of these guys kind of silently if we can. Get up. <laughs> what? Who hit me? Oh, that's baloney. You guys are so slow. The whole crowd left you behind, didn't they? I'm so sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're coming back. Stop screaming. Oh, that was bad. Oh, did they? Did they all come back? No, not all of them. Just some of them. Oh, look. Look. Oh, let's go get it. It's right there. All right, whatever. This was close enough for me to take the risk, I guess. Look at my dang corn. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Eat corn. Dang it. We really need to get some more food. And uh, as far as the bug out bag goes, we're going to put together um, some basic items that we'll be able to grab and go as soon as the horde shows up. And be like, okay, grab the bug out bag, which it, under normal circumstances, again, is a, um, like a backpack. Something that is already filled, so there's no thought. You don't want to start packing when the poop hits the fan. That's, that's, that's the last thing you want to do when the call comes. And here it is in the corn. Check it out. And you gotta go. Land claim block is just pathetic. It's a multiplayer thing. Please, get rid of it. Don't do that. Give me something useful. Stupid game. So what we're going to do is have a box by the door with some essential items. Um, obviously want some food. It has to be non-smelly food. We don't want to attract zombies as we're trying to make our getaway. That's the whole point. During the zombie apocalypse, your evac is essentially when you're discovered and you've got to go. Now, if Rick and gang and the walking dead had bug out bags and a plan when they were on the farm and i hope i'm not spoiling this for anyone <laughs> spoiler alert spoiler alert then uh they would have been in maybe better shape and if they had a um a reconnoiter spot you know so basically what you do is you have a, a, an evacuation plan you say guys if we ever get split up or we have to run in different directions everybody regroup at the spot you know, and you have a map, and you have a plan, a place to go. Could be a, a you know, maybe a a, a schoolhouse or, or a barn somewhere, something, somewhere that you all know ahead of time before it happens. So, again, you run out the door, you open your, you snag your, your bug out bag. Now, of course, I can't do that in this game because this isn't a backpack. I'll have to open it and go pop, 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 grab it all really quickly. And then you, then you go and you run. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put some items in here. And we're going to need non-smelly food. And I don't really have much in the way of non-smelly food. And I only have a, I only have one pot. Dang crying shame. Well, the pot's going to have to go in the... Uh, the pot's going to go in the, in, in the, uh, in the bug-out bag. Because it's the only... It's the only one I have. So, and we're going to take five bandages. 
What else should we have in there? Obviously, you want some food, bandages, water. Let's put uh, eight waters. Actually, I honestly prefer to have the golden rod. Let's make some golden rod tea right now, in fact. Take that golden rod. Because you're going to be on the run. And golden rod is going to be the best thing for you when you're running. Let's grab that. This here. So we're going to want to have some wood. We have a way to hydrate. I'd like to have some wooden logs. So we have some wood for building materials. Um... Bandages, sleeping bag. Let's make a sleeping bag. Where is sleeping bag? Oh, I haven't made a sleeping bag yet. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. That way we can set down a, uh, a spawn point. Is it really already 18? Hey, yay, yay. Gotta get moving. That horde kind of screwed everything up. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Ladders. And let's make ladders. It's good to have a few ladders. I'm thinking some extra frames. You know, half a dozen of these things. Just to, if we have to build something really quickly. You know, eight ladders to climb. Let's get some more sticks going here. Because once you're on the run and there's a feral whore on your tail. you What was that? You might have to climb up, right? You might want to get up to a rooftop. So that's going to be important to have ladders. And let's make some frames. Let's have a few of those ready to roll. Goldenrod tea. I don't want to bring all my goldenrod tea either. Because obviously part of the plan is that we'll be able to come back here. We want to leave this place so it doesn't get destroyed, but we do want to have our primary shelter safe and sound when we come back. So I want to put some golden rod here. Um, and we want to go light as well. Um, all right, let's first of all let's break these down. I think the Feral Horde is going to come at 24 today. Is that Does that sound right to you guys? I really don't know. But we're going to find out here very soon. I want an axe to fight with. I have my spike club and an axe we can use for brawling. We should potentially put some... Maybe one antibiotic. And maybe like three painkillers in here too. And I'll, you know, I'll remake this. This is just kind of to give you guys an idea of what you should have in your bug out bag. I suppose you can replace that. And we don't have enough food. We definitely don't have enough food. And there's no way for me right now to make non-smelly food. Apparently, you can make non-smelly food with bacon and eggs. And let's fix this up, too. So we are really going to be screwed as far as food goes. I'm just going to have to fill up right now. Mm-hmm. A good idea to have some torches in our bug out bag. Let's just put all these in here. Now, because it's the zombie apocalypse, we're already going to have some of these items on us. Right? So this is really to supplement what we already have. And in the event we don't have anything, when we stop here and just go click, 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 click. Then, bang, we'll have everything we absolutely need to survive at least one night against the Feral Horde. So that's the whole idea of this. This is all in theory. I haven't practiced this yet. <laughs> Clearly, this is the first time. Let's drink up. We want to be well hydrated. Of course, I'm always going to have, like I said, we'll always have some of this on us anyway. Now, we never even got to my shelter, but I have a shelter, evac shelter in mind. 
and I'm so scared right now. I don't know what to expect. I don't have any idea. Uh oh. I hear a bee. I never hear bees, that's weird. Uh oh. Guys? I think they're coming! Let's go! Bug out! We're bugging out! We're bugging out! We're bugging out! We're bugging out! This! Oh crap! We're bugging out! And we're gonna go to the north! Whew! I have no food! Except for one can! Holy crap! We're gonna go to the north this way. I'm gonna get to the road and head toward my backup shelter, which is... Holy crap! <laughs> my backup shelter is a, um, a garage, gas station, which is over this way. Oh, look! Look, smoke! Oh, crap! Ah! She's right on me! Run! There's wasps! Gas station coming up! Up here, if I can make it. This chick is right on my ass. No, she isn't. Get the ladders, 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 ladders. Uh, here. Go. Now, Paulina is from Arizona, right? So she knows that there's a gas station up this way. It's where she grew up. She knows it's here. <laughs> I will at least roleplay that much that I know where I'm going. Oh, crap. I should have gotten there by now, I think. Oh, no. I lose them? I hope they're not beating on my house. I think that was the feral horde. It is now. Here it is. Oh god. Now we're gonna have to clear this place too. Oh sh stop. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! How do you miss that? Put the arrow bolt thing down, you dang fool! <laughs> oh god. Something falling. Oh crap! They blew up the freaking car. Oh. oh no! Climb up! Climb up! No! 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 Shista. Uh, that did not work out well at all. Come on, get through it, get through it, get through it! Come on! Oh lord. This is bad, guys. I thought I was gonna be able to make it up there. But, um, it's clearly not the case, and all of my. Ooh, make some more ladders. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I gotta get up. Come on. They don't know I'm in here, apparently. <laughs> they don't know I'm in here, except that they're banging away on things. I need more sticks. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Alright, let's make some more sticks. Let's make more ladders. I'm gonna have to run again. Oh, crap. No, no, no. I need light, please. I'm gonna have to bust out of here and make a run for something somewhere. Oh my God. Switching things out is just a pain in the butt. Oh no. Which way to go? That's the question. You think my ladder's still there? Suppose I could fight. Oh man, they're coming in over here too, aren't they? Oh boy. Yeah, this is bad. Oh my god, you can't miss that shot, dude. I'm gonna start killing them off. Ooh! Oh, I like that. Now they're fast at night, no matter what. The lights, uh, 
The torchlight doesn't stop them like it used to. You know, the torchlight used to make them slower. Doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, stand right there, fool. I don't think I'm going to have enough ammo. That door is holding solid. I like it. Ooh. No! Hit him! Dang it! Stop hitting that stupid door. Aim for him. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh! Oh, crap. No, no, dang it, 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 die! Whew, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. Okay, heal up, heal up. Knock my torch down, suckers. Come on. That can't be the feral horde, could it? Oh, they hear me going through bodies? Baloney. Looking for anything. Antibiotics, food. Anything but scrap freaking lead. The hell good does that do me? <laughs> Come on. I think we did it, folks. I think we did it. Polina, good job. Oh, books. Home maintenance one. Oh, I wish that were home maintenance two. Kind of settle here and see if they, uh. Looks like we're just gonna have to fight through this. I obviously am not gonna be able to get out or upstairs to the roof. That was a total botch up job. I had hoped to get here earlier while the sun was shining to set my ladder up. <laughs> but that's what happens, man, when the poop hits the fan, right? Plans go to heck, man. I couldn't get up the ladder. And I think there's a lip up top, and that's what I was banging my head on the lip. There's a ladder on this side, if I recall, that goes right up to the top where you can slip up onto the roof. But, um, I couldn't see it. There's, there's only a couple left. I think we can do this. Oh, I forget you can pick these up after you put them down. I keep thinking I have to bust through them again. My gosh. That is huge, dude. I cannot. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Arrgh. Come on. That was dumb. Bang it. Yeah, I forget about those that you can actually pick that stuff up once you put it down. So there's really no reason that, to not use those wholesale. Glad I remembered. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna make a few more of those. Uh, wooden frames. Don't use up all the wood. Yeah, I mean, you could literally surround yourself in these frames, right? I mean, this is just dumb to go out here right now, but I think it's just that one. Undetected. They did a number on that brick, didn't they? He gets. Yeah, I mean, that just makes sense to put these things all over the place. Bust through a window, put a wood frame. I just didn't want to block myself in. So, lesson learned. I forget you could pick those things up. Pretty darn critical. How are we doing? See, I would have set up all these gas cans if I had a little more time throughout the day to secure this location, but this is going to be my 
Well, I don't know about now. Now that it's a mess, I may not want to use this as my backup shelter. So anyway, yeah, that's the bug out bag, guys. It kind of works. Uh, it's nice to have that ready to go before you need it. That's the important thing. Cooking pot may not be necessary. My guess is, obviously, you only need to get through one night. You're not going to do any cooking. You're only going to you're already going to have your food. As long as you have a full belly and you're hydrated, then clearly I have way, way too much stuff. What? Where's my golden rod? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I obviously don't need that much. So, um, you know, you might want to tweak that bag that I just showed you guys. You don't need as much as I put in there. Now, I, I think. I'm not sure if they're still fast. Uh, and honestly, I don't know if that was even the feral horde or not. But those are just local zombies. Gosh. I'm gonna go check my ladder here. I'm curious how I did. Oh, there is no lip there. I just couldn't get up there fast enough. And here it is. See? Because that one's busted up now too. Let's let's finish it. And I would have had a, a torch up here, like, you know, like, up there. That was the whole plan, was to run over here. Let's get the hell on. It's a pretty solid building, and it could withstand a, a horde or two. This is the only guy. All right. Well, guys and gals, it is now day seven. Oh, wait a minute. You think they're coming tonight? Like midnight tonight, day seven? Oh, look at this guy. Pistol. Hmm. I don't know. I suppose some of you guys know if the horde that showed up at the farm was the feral horde or if they're going to be coming tonight at midnight. I don't know. But we're going to get prepared. I'm going to be prepared for them either way. So, all right, guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little frantic, um, but that's what makes it so fun, right? <laughs> Could have done things better. All right, anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.